The Yellow School Bus, it's a classic. Why yellow? That takes us back to 1939, a conference at Columbia University where education professor Frank Sear wanted to standardize school buses. And he invited experts from all sorts of industries. And they came to an agreement on the width of the aisle, the length of the bus to make it the safest for children. But what color? They put test strips on the wall, they looked at it, and eventually they concluded that yellow was the most visible, especially when the printing on it was black. And thus was born School Bus Yellow. Turned out to be lead chromate. And 1939, buses started to be colored with that yellow. Now, this was not the first time that that particular color was used. In fact, we can go back to the late 1700s, when a French chemist by the name of Valaquin made a discovery. And that discovery was a new element called chromium. And he found when it reacted with oxygen lead, it made lead chromate. The cabs in London and Paris were colored with that. And those cabs then were were horse-drawn carriages. So cabs go back with their yellow coloring a long, long time. The uh, color was appreciated not only by owners of of cabs, because of course people could hail the cabs very easily, they saw them, but artists as well. Our pal Vincent van Gogh, for example, loved lead chromate. Why? Because it gave these brilliant yellow colors. And of course his classic was sunflowers. They were brilliant. They shone with the lead chromate. Unfortunately, don't shine quite as much today because it turns out that when lead chromate is exposed to ultraviolet light, it changes its hue and it becomes darker. So today, sunflowers, which is a whole series that he painted, are kept kind of in in subdued light. Well, by the time that Edward Munch came around and painted his classic screen, he knew all about the problems with lead chromate and the fact that it would sort of darken on exposure to light. But luckily for him, Friedrich Strohmeyer, another chemist, had discovered cadmium sulfide, which was a yellow color, and it did not have the same problems as lead chromate on exposure to light. On the other hand, it did have another problem, because with humidity, it changed to cadmium sulfate, which is white, so in fact, the screen, and I've been able to borrow this from the museum in, in Oslo, is now going to be kept in an environment where they will be very careful about staying away from humidity. All right. The school buses today are still colored yellow, but no longer are they colored with lead chromate because lead is no longer used potential toxicity. Now, the children never had anything to worry about. They didn't chew on the school buses. It was occupational exposure among the workers who made it. So today, school buses, of course, are still yellow, uh, but they use a variety of different yellows. Sometimes you can just blend different colors of paint to to make yellow. There's also one called benzidine yellow. Uh, So school buses today are still yellow, and they are extremely visible. It turns out that yellow is the color that you most easily see from the corner of your eye. So when a driver is driving the kids around, uh, he will see uh, others, and the others will see him out of the corners of, uh, of their eye. Great. What about the scream? I love that painting. Why? Because it makes me think of the panic that people have for ridiculous reasons today all the scares about 5G networks, about COVID vaccines causing harm, they remind me of the scream and the importance of uh, making sure that sense is separated from nonsense. Now you know the story behind the yellow school bus. And next time you read stories about yellow school buses to kids, you can infuse a little chemistry about Vincent van Gogh and perhaps even about the scream.